Hey guys, welcome to SunWest Student Tutors. In this video, we'll be learning about balancing chemical equations. Okay, so before we get into the actual balancing of the chemical equations, I'd like to inform you about diatomic molecules. So these are the elements hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, and chlorine, and I like to remember them in an acronym of Hofbrinkel. Sounds a little bit funny, but it works. And these um, elements, when they're alone, have a subscript or a smaller number, which you will see in the following slides, of a charge of the number 2. Let's begin with a simple equation to balance. So we have hydrogen plus oxygen yields H2O, or as we know, water. So as we see, we have two hydrogen and two oxygen on the left-hand side of the arrow, and on the right-hand side, we have two hydrogen and one oxygen. So using our simple multiplication skills, we will need to um, balance out this equation. So currently, the hydrogens are balanced, but in order to balance these oxygens, we will need to uh, have a two here. So we both, we see now that we have two over here for the oxygen and two over here. However, our hydrogens are now imbalanced. Over here, we would have four. Over here, we would have two. So let's add a two here and let's verify. So two times two is four. So that gives us four hydrogens here, plus one times two equals two oxygens over here, yields four hydrogen and two oxygen. Let's begin with some more complex compounds. So let's start by balancing aluminum and oxygen. So we're gonna put a four here, four and a three, and then we're gonna put a two over here. So let's verify this work. So as we can see here, we have four aluminum, and then let's check on the other side. So two times two is four, so those are happy. And then we have three times two for the oxygen on the left-hand side. And over here we have two times three. So this one is correct and verified. Let's move on to the next one. Iron and sulfur and oxygen. Okay, so let's begin. Let's put a four here and a seven here, a two, and a four. Let's check this out. So over here we can see that we have four iron. So this, because it doesn't have a subscript or a small number following it, is considered one. So four times one equals four. So this one's okay. Two times two is four. That one's verified for our iron. Four times S, or four times one for sulfur. And then over here, 4 times 1, so this is good again. And then we have 7 times 2 for oxygen, so that's 14 oxygen. And over here we have 2 times 3, which equals 6. And then we have 4 times 2, which equals 8. So once we add these, we get 14, which is now completely balanced. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to learn something.